Hello, my name is Audrey Scanlon. I'm the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Central Pennsylvania, and I'm making this video on Thursday, February 3rd. You'll be seeing it on Friday, February 4th in the year 2022. We're continuing our discussion of the various phrases in the collect, which we have written for our Shape by Faith initiative. And this week we are up to praying and thinking about the courage to explore new ideas. In the collect, we pray, um, asking God to give us the insight to hold on to what is true, the courage to explore new ideas, and the boldness to create with you. So I wanna talk a little bit today about the courage to explore new ideas. When I was thinking about this, I thought of a school psychologist that I used to work with and in her office she had a poster up on the wall and it said change is good change is good you go first and I think that it is um, natural for us to be reticent to change and so we need a little bit of courage to try new ideas the word courage of course comes from the uh, French word cur which is uh, related to the heart and so when we ask somebody to do something courageous, it means that it really does pull on our heartstrings. We're asking people to do something difficult. And in some cases, uh, something dangerous is the way that we think of courage. Think of um, asking soldiers to go into battle and the, the courage that requires of them. Now in our Shape by Faith project, we have invited people not to do dangerous things, but to do difficult things. We've asked congregations to imagine their whole life, their whole um, congregational life, their parish life in new ways. Some of these can be what we call structural change, which would mean something as simple, we would think, as changing the time of a service so that we could accommodate a profile where one congregation would share a priest. And I'll tell you, if you've been around the Episcopal Church for a while, you know that uh, changing your seat or changing the time of your service, uh, both of those are really hard to do. And yet we're inviting people to make some of those, what well, we think those are micro shifts, for a macro or a larger shift, which in this case would be the sharing of a clergy person. In our diocese, more than 83% or so of our congregations are, are part-time parishes. Parishes, not part-time parishes, but parishes where uh, clergy are employed part-time. And so we find more and more clergy are willing to share congregations. When I was in Connecticut, I served two small family-sized parishes, and I know that, that yoking experience. And Canon Streeter as well, and his experience in the Diocese of Rochester also served two small congregations in a, what we call a yoked situation. And so I wonder in your own experience, what kind of courage you have had to screw up to try on new things. I love the challenge of trying new things. Uh, right now in our household for the year 2022, we've um, taken on a pretty dramatic dietary shift where my husband and I are trying on a vegan diet for the whole year. What that means uh, is no milk, no dairy, no eggs, um, no cheese, no meat. And so we're learning all new ways to eat vegetables and grains and legumes and to still find the right uh, complementary proteins to keep us going. So that's just a personal example of how we have stepped out um, to try something different. Was it um, dangerous? I don't think so. Is it difficult? It does require a few more hours in the kitchen to be well fed following this uh, lifestyle. But it has opened my eyes to routines that I've gotten into, habits that I've been in, and my willingness to try something new for the sake of, of change, for the sake of stretching myself a little bit. One of the phrases I'd like to point out in this collect is that we're inviting people to um, explore 
new ideas. So give us the courage to explore new ideas. And exploration really is part of experimentation. Experimentation is one of the four values of Shape by Faith. And one of the things that we know about experimentation is that sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, we always learn something when we try something new, but it might not go quite the way we had imagined. We might need to um, dial things back and, and try something in a different way. All of that is, is um, again, I hope not dangerous, but it can be difficult for those of us who thrive on routine and who have, especially in our church lives, been accustomed to doing things in one way or another. So we're not advocating change for the sake of change as much as we are advocating change for the sake of health, change for the sake of growth, um, change for the sake of opening our hearts and our minds to doing things in new ways and partnering with God in new ways. The collect that I picked to share with you this week is Proper 2. It's a collect that we generally pray around the middle of May let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, in your goodness keep us, we pray, from all things that may hurt us, that we, being ready both in mind and body, may accomplish with free hearts those things which belong to your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so friends, I was hoping to make this video outside today, but uh, the groundhog told us we have six more weeks of winter ahead and it is pouring rain today. I can barely see the Susquehanna River from where I sit because it's pretty foggy here in Harrisburg. So until next week, may God bless you and guide you and keep you always.